Greetings, Keishling. It's Keishling Prime here with my live reaction of Dragon Ball Super, Chapter 58. Um, let's see. Son Goku arrives. Yes, he arrived at the very end of the chapter to help Roshi and Krillin because uh, those girls were giving him a whooping. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, they're all been taken out. Krillin was able to send a message, well, message, more like just a beacon of energy for Goku to hone in on to cover the last leg of the trip, you know. And then he got in there to save the booties. But, um, that's kind of what they're just looking down at the, the, the bodies of the ladies. Roshi's over here, it's like, Goku's here? <laughs> Sheesh, took you long enough to show up. <laughs> We've been missing you, Goku. Uh... Picking up on your, uh, I hate that they use chi. Um, I mean, in a, whatever, I've talked about that before, whatever. Uh, with your key signature was a breeze, Krillin. What's ever, where's everyone else? Can't you pick up on their energy signatures unless they're dead? <laughs> Fighting with escaped prisoners all over the globe. Yeah, and Sagambo's got a, you know, a big power boost right now, so you might want to deal with him first. Um... I see. I think we're good here, so you should go check on the others. Let me help you guys carry them. Oh, Roshi's like, hey, I'll help you carry them. <laughs> These ladies. Oh, 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 yeah. I don't. I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball, and I was getting better at the Roshi impression, but not so much right then. Um. Okay, so you got the troopers taking care of them now, and Goku's about to. Got it. Wait, Goku, did your training go well? Do you think you can beat Moro now? Yeah, and we really need to beat him. That's what my training was all about. I mean, your training is always about defeating the big bad. I don't know why this has to be said. Um, right, sounds like this Moro guy is really bad news. Yeah, I still don't know much about him myself. I... This is an odd conversation to be having when people are potentially dying. You know? And some have kind of died. At least civilians, probably. Um, let's see here. I forgot. Did we see Yamcha or anything last year? I know we saw Tien's battle. And then he couldn't insult the Metal Man. So then Chiaotzu stepped in. And he, he was like, Yonka yeah, junk. Uh, but yeah, we don't... I don't think we saw him whatever anyway, it'll probably come up he'll be in a hall probably but we'll at least know his status we could still be hiding from or he could still be hiding some of his power i don't like the sound of that are you actually worried i mean he's goku on some level maybe but this is dragon ball super goku so probably not nah it's more like i'm super excited of course Dragon Ball Super Goku. And he teleports away. Go and uh, Krillin's now kind of like, um, hmm. what the heck? Excited even now? Well, that's the Goku I know. I mean, sure, but like have a little bit of, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot they were all together. Damn. <laughs> Yamcha's like so low in my mind. I was like, I guess I thought he was off on his own, which would have been disastrous. But no, him, Tien, and Chaozu are all together, it seems like. So I just totally forgot. My bad. Um, and Goku teleports in, very much reminding me of the Raccoon fight, where he just like kind of blocks the punch of Raccoon before it takes out Gohan. Um... But yeah, and the dude's like, uh, Goku, and he's about to show you how to break a dude's arm and also cave in his stomach. Well, he puked. <laughs> well, that guy's taken out. That was easy. <laughs> um, he was giving us a run for our money and you just, wow, a run for your money. I don't think you were doing well. And you had advantages of numbers. You have one guy who can, like, paralyze somebody with telekinetic powers. And then the two of you could just rush in there and beat the shit out of him. But, no, you don't do these strategies. Um, only Goku, or only Gohan and Piccolo 
have done combo moves. No one else seems to want to do that. I don't know why. Um, some things never change. Okay, you got the the troopers. They're they're coming in, taking away the the injured prisoners now. Did you guys beat the other prisoners? I, yeah. Uh, even we could handle those weaklings, yet you couldn't handle the strongest of the weaklings. <laughs> Great, but I'm thinking Gohan and those guys might need you. I mean, Sagambo seemed like he was he was doing a wailing on them, cause like wasn't it that like they were all kind of like holding each other's backs to like stop the pressure of his punch from knocking them all away? So, yeah. Let's see, got it. You got this, Goku. And he teleports away again. And, okay, now with the Sagambo fight with the remaining Z Warriors. Um, we've got the androids here. Ch not paying us. Uh, they're not paying us enough. Damn it, I didn't expect this. Okay, so Gohan and Piccolo are engaging him right now. While the androids kind of catch their breath. I guess. I mean, I guess they technically still breathe, but, like, energy isn't an issue for them, is it? <clears throat> um. Oh. What is Sagambo doing? Like, he's doing. But then there's, like, these, like, weird swirlies, and I don't know. And they're flying up into the air. What the. Gravity powers? I guess? I don't know. But anyway. Um. So they bounce back, they're whirling in the air. It's cool how in unison they are. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's still a little off, you know, given Gohan doesn't really train that much. Ooh, another combo move. They're both doing, like, a key blast in unison. You know, like, one on each side, and it's like, draw back, and then, ba-boom. Um, let's see here. So Gumbo's like, oh, Okay, um, yeek, too much oomph, guys, you're gonna break the planet, or break the earth, not, the, well, I mean, I guess both would have worked, I don't know why I went with planet instead of earth, it's literally right there, but, I mean, sometimes, you know, as long as there's a planet portion left, and Dende's still around, you could always wish it back, right? <laughs> um, or go to Namek. Nah. No, you couldn't. Namix, Namix, no more. I forgot about that. Um, that was just earlier this arc, too. God, I'm bad. Um, okay, androids are kind of like watching this and everything. Moro's just watching with that smirk goat face of his. They're still pouring on the po Oh, God, he cleared the gap. They're like right there on top of him, and he doesn't look. To He's just like, I'm grumpy. Oh, and he just clocks both of them. Well, dang. Are you kidding me? Grr. Ugh. That brute is something else. This might be more than we can handle. But really, 17? You, 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 you don't say, huh? Okay, he's just slowly walking towards them. Saganbo, I always knew you were no good criminal scum, but don't you have any pride? What are you getting at, Jocko? You caught his attention, and uh, why are you taking orders from Moro's lap or like Moro's lapdog? Shut up, Galactic Patrol! Lord Moro saved us from that dinky hole you call a prison. Dinky. Dinky. <laughs> uh, okay. And he's given us enough power that we'll never get caught by the likes of you again. God, my nose and everything's itchy. Um. That explains how the convicts got so strong. Lord Moro is making sure we never uh, feel that pathetic again. So yeah, we'll do what he says. That's what we decided. Tch. If you ask me, what were you doing, or what you're doing now is way more pathetic than being locked up. Say what? Uh-oh. That weird energy spiraling. That might just be his frustration. I don't know. I, it's just a joke. Jocko... Just shut up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Stay back. He actually stopped. Hmm? What the? Wait. 
I guess Goku's there and he's sensing Goku, which I didn't know they could really sense energies, at least not that I was aware of. Jocko sees something. Oh. Okay, so Gombo got punched. Um Huh He's sent flying. What's going on? Who's there? Who kicked me? Oh, it wasn't a punch, it was a kick. Someone sent him flying all on their own. Oh god, they're still doing it. What the heck? <laughs> I'm, so I'm guessing it's Goku? Or... Wait. I forget. Where did Vegeta end up? Like, he had to take the patrol ship back, right? So it would take him longer to get home. But he left earlier than Goku? Because they actually knew the which way they were going? But his training... It... This could go either way. I'd be interested if this was actually Vegeta who, who's doing it. And he's just, like, using his new, like, spirit control to, like, hit him from a distance. So it's like he's an invisible fighter. That'd be kind of cool, right? Um, or just to show off how powerful he is, you know, and how fast. But uh, Moro's a little surprised at all of this beating. Whoop, I went the wrong way. Um, how? How is this happening? It's Dad. He's here at last. Huh? I can't see him or sense his, his key. Oh, so Piccolo can't sense it, but Gohan can. I mean, I guess that makes a little more sense, but... Mm, but whatever. Okay, so Sagambo's just going... Uh, 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 quick, punch him! Uh, really, you guys can't see him? Oh, yeah, I forgot back during um, the... The... Uh, Tournament of Destroyers arc. It was Jocko that actually could see, like, I think it was Hit, or not Hit, but um, well, actually, I think he could see a little bit of Hit's movements. But I meant to say Frost and his evil doings with that needle poison thing he was going, he had going that arc. Um, you guys can't see him. Um, <laughs> Goku's fighting while zipping around at super duper hyper speed. You mean you can see him? Piccolo, come on. I remembered, eventually. <laughs> Why don't you? Yeah, my vision's actually by my one strong suit. Then why don't they have you on a monitor? You know, just watching the galaxy and seeing all its little details. <clears throat> but just because I can keep track doesn't mean I can fight like that. So don't think that. I mean, sure... We've seen what you're capable of, Jocko, and it, it ain't impressive. Um, I mean, your, your vision is one thing. I'll give you props, but fighting, no. Bravery, hell no. Um, but why can't we sense Goku's key? Maybe he's moving too fast for us to lock on to it. What new heights has he really reached? Okay, Moro. Oh, he's grinning. One of them is finally here. The one who employed instant uh, transmission. Or teleportation, but whatever. I like transmission better. Uh, or Namek, yes. Go ahead and reveal yourself, Son Goku, was it? Moro can also see him. He might be able to just sense him, but I mean, he is strong enough and whatnot, and definitely experienced enough. He probably has very honed senses. Oh, Sagambo is uh, being thrown at Moro. Not that it's going to mean anything. Because he just kind of like... Bitch, you cannot touch the Lord. Um, anyway. Just saying Sagambo. <laughs> I don't want to say poor Sagambo, but when your own boss doesn't give a shit enough to at least, you know, just hold out a palm and catch you and let you just fall right there but just slaps you away with two fingers as if you're two bit trash which to be honest they're they're thuggish pr you know prisoners so i mean there is a little bit of element of the trash of society but you know but then again he is the big bad of the arc so this is kind of what they do eventually it's like you weren't strong enough i don't care for you anymore even when i gave you power you're pathetic um, anyway, what did he do? Well, you saw it go on. Come on, are you blind? I was hoping to go right ahead and beat you, too. Okay, so Goku is right behind him now. I guess it won't be that simple. 
Goku. <laughs> You've grown far stronger. Yep, I'm not the same guy I was when we first met. Is that so? Glad to hear it. More energy for me to devour. Um, anyway, it would have been cool if he had said something like that. But he'll probably say it at some point. And Sakambo's getting back up. Crap. Okay, so he is... He's a tough cookie. He's like, I was in the pen, and I was getting beat up every day, and then I started beating back, and now I'm top dog. I don't know. I, I don't know where my mind went up. Anyway. So... Okay, Moro and Goku are aware of this now. I guess Moro wasn't expecting him to get back up. He's still up and running. Lord Moro, I can still fight for you. You heard him? Well, would you prefer to fight me or him? Uh, Goku, you might want to just fight Moro, to be honest. I mean, while your power is at the highest it's going to get. Because the more if you fight other people... The more drain it's going to be on you, even if it, they're, like, far weaker than Moro. But it might be best. And, and then it buys Vegeta more time to get there. And then he can come help. Let's see here. Listen, your buddy's all got uh, recaptured. So just give up and go back to the Galactic Prison. Back to the Slammer? No way! Oh god, he's powering up. Is he going to transform? I doubt he transform. His hair's standing on up. But, okay. He is pseudo saying, um, he's not leaving me much of a choice. Yeah, because he'll probably kill freaking Gohan and Piccolo at this rate because they haven't done much to him. I mean, they're still in decent shape, so maybe they're kind of holding back, but mm, if last chapter and what we've seen in this one indicates no. Uh, stick around, Moro, because after him, you're next. Moro's like, be my guest? <laughs> okay, he's teleported to Goku, or Go. Ugh, I hate that they all have the Go in their names. It's really throwing me off this chapter for some reason. Um, anyway, he, he's with Gohan and Piccolo now. Dad, sorry, we ha uh, sorry you had to start fighting again, Gohan. I'm the one who's sorry. We weren't able to protect the Earth on our own. What do you mean? I barely recognize you two. You should have been training, or you must have been training hard. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Not much point in training when we still can't defend the Earth. I mean, you guys have been defending the Earth. The success rate may be varied at times, but at least you're putting in the work. It's not like it's like, we're Earth's defenders, and then as soon as the getting gets tough, you, you fly out of there. No, you're still fighting to the end. So you're doing what you said you would do. You're protecting the Earth the best of your abilities. The enemies are always going to, you know, pull out random things, or they may be stronger than you predict or were able to train for, but you're still doing your duty. So there's no shame in that. Uh, when was it, I wonder? When did you get uh, so far ahead of us? That was like from day one, almost. <laughs> At least in Z. Um, no, wait. Techn well, let's see. Goku was a little weaker than Piccolo from Z. Because he had beat Piccolo back at the end of Dragon Ball era. Then the Z era happened... Piccolo got stronger, and then basically from there up until, what was it? I I want to say that Goku had had the edge on him until the the Cell Saga, after he fused with um, Wakami by that point. Yeah, I think that's what happened. And then he was able to you know, take on the androids and stuff. Or, well, it would have been the android saga, not the cell saga, my bad. But he was able to take on, like, the androids and also take on, for a little bit anyway, semi-perfect cell. And was the strongest for a little bit. Not very long, sadly. Hmm. Let's see here. <coughs> uh, Sagambo's still pissed. Let me handle this one. Well, I mean, that should have been always the case, Goku. Um, it sucks that 
you know, Goku and Vegeta get all the all the good fights, all but you know, the others they they do what they can. Okay, they're getting out of the way. Go on, show me the extent of your power. Okay, so he's Super Saiyan Blue, it looks like right now. What's this? Blue hair? Oh, I forgot that he never showed him that. Okay, Sagambo's going in. And Goku's just kind of... Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> uh, okay, dodge the punch, and then right in his guts. And then kicked him away. It's like, haha, I kicked you again. Um, okay, Sagambo does gain a little bit of, you know, air footage, if you want to call... How would you call that? Like, he rebounds off of a rock. Okay, he goes in with a kick. Goku defends it, though. You're pretty sturdy, huh? But... Uh-oh. Ooh, that's an interesting kick position. Like, Goku's, like, on his hands, but then he's, like, kicking upwards and stuff. So that that's interesting. Um... Okay, he went up into the air, and now Goku goes with an overhead slam. Being sturdy isn't enough to beat me. Um... Is it though? Is it though? Anyway. Well, that was a, a quite the impact. Because both Piccolo and Gohan were like, Oh, God, that's a lot of dust. Um, <coughs> see here. Way stronger than the last time we seen him in blue form. Looks like his training's really paid off. Okay, Goku's back on the ground. It's over. He won't be getting up again. Or he won't get up again. Are you ready, Moro? Ah, uh, hmm. What over, or what's over exactly? Look behind you. Good lord. Oh god, he has no pupils left, so he's he's in like berserker mode now. Okay. Um how's that possible? Is he somehow even stronger than before? Stronger than before. Code was it Code Zio? I don't know. I, that song gets stuck in my head every time. <laughs> You're stronger than before. <laughs> ah. Anyway, uh, maybe Moro gave him another power boost when he whacked him away a minute ago. I mean, possible. Or he could have just been giving him power all this time, and energy doesn't always have to be visible in this series to be given. Oh no. Still able to fight Sagambo? Can he even talk at this point? He got his attention. Of course, Lord Moro. Oh, he can actually still talk. Is that so? Then I should grant you a bit more power. Oh, boy. Really? Oh, God. What? Moro, his body hit its limit. You gotta stop pumping him with energy. He's going to explode. <coughs> He's just now reduced to a frickin' meat puppet now. He doesn't seem to talk. He's just, like, growling in pain. Going for Goku's head. You too. Cut it out. Any more of this and uh, will wreck your body. I mean, his body's probably already wrecked. I mean, you know. Tch. Okay, so you were able to defend and get a little ground. Son Goku, I wish to see that technique again. Show it to me. Wait, what was it? What move was it? I mean, Goku doesn't really have a lot of techniques, to be honest. He, he could definitely learn a lot more moves than he has in his repertoire. It wasn't in that transformation that you employed those high-speed moves, correct? Uh, until you show me your uh, earlier form, I will force Sagambo to continue fighting. Oh, God. You're just giving him more power! Sweet Jesus. That man's gonna blow up. Wah. You're just straight up killing him, I swear. It's like, I don't... I'm having fun. Yeah, more power, Sagambo. More power. And Sagambo's like... <laughs> oh, Lord. Goku's like, I've had enough. Quit torturing this man. He's gonna try and backhand Moro. Uh, it didn't work, though. Enough, I'll show you what you want to see up close and personal. Sagambo's still standing. He's trembling, though. L L 
Lord Moro. He is mine to defeat. Uh oh. Foaming at the mouth, muscles all bulgy, but then there's that light thing of being hit by something. Oh shit, what just happened to him? Well, he's. I think he's dead now. <laughs> Everyone's shocked. He hits the ground. Yeek! Hmm. He couldn't even withstand that smit or smidgen of energy. How pathetic. Oh, so that was him giving him more power, I guess, in that instance? Wasn't he your friend? My friend? I have no friends. Those were my soldiers. They may be gone, but I can always collect more. You total scumbag. I mean, he's at least telling you the case. I'm, Goku, you fought people like him before. Frieza being a big example, but also going back to the Red Ribbon Army because, like, those soldiers were totally expendable. And that's exactly what Moro sees these guys as. Hmm. <laughs> Think what you like. Fine, I'm, I'm ready to show you the power I'd gain just to beat you. What exactly? Uh, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Okay, he's back in base form. And... Oh, is he going Ultra Instinct? Yep, he's Ultra Instinct. But I can't quite tell if this is the... Like, the... Pr like, the Pseudo Instinct or, like, Full-on Instinct form. I think it's the Pseudo, but I don't know. This is no mortal ability. He's actually shocked. That's right. The initial stage of the technique of the gods. Ultra Instinct Sign. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, and it comes back on the 20th again. Alrighty. So that, that wasn't a bad chapter. I kind of feel bad for Sagambo, but I, I discussed that earlier. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's hope Goku does pretty well, or at least is able to hold off until Vegeta gets there, because I'm sure that's probably going to be needed. Moro seems to be, given how he absorbs energy the way he does, Goku may be completely drained by that point. And also, I just... I actually come to think of it, seeing as Vegeta doesn't have Ultra Instinct as of yet, it's nice that he'll probably have like whatever spirit forms he has or whatever, and then Goku has Ultra Instinct, so then they have like a variety to them. It's not always like, oh, I've got Super Saiyan, so do I. I've got Super Saiyan too. Well, I'm calling mine Super Vegeta, <laughs> or something, you know. Well, no, wait, Super Vegeta was like ascended Super Saiyan, my bad. Um, but yeah, like, you know, where it's just like tit for tat, I, I do like that they're kind of branching off, so good on you guys for doing that potentially. Um, now be it, he may eventually get Ultra Instinct, and but he'll still always have more spirit abilities than Goku does, but, and then what happens if he actually goes back to Yardrat and trains more? I mean, Goku could potentially too... Or he could be just the way to get there. <laughs> it's like, hey, Jeets, you, you need to go training? Yes, Kakarot, please, please take me. I, I don't want to ride in the, in the spaceship anymore. <laughs> I will deal with you for five minutes, and then after that, you drop me off and leave. <laughs> it's like, okay, it'll take us a minute, and then they just hop from planet to planet, you know, as far as Goku can teleport, that is. And that'd be fun. And then Vegeta comes back. I'm stronger than you, Kakarot. And it's like, let's see that and try. And then you know that that's when they fight again. You see their different powers, and it'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think Moro might be interesting, to say the least. I I definitely want to know where Vegeta is. Like, will this fight allow him enough time to get there? Will Goku be exhausted by that point because of the energy draining or not? You know, we don't really see a whole lot since, like, Android 19 of, like, energy draining characters. I mean, there was that one guy in the Boo Saga, I suppose, as well. The, um, the one that could, like, suck the energy and light and everything. But, like, he was, like, such a minor threat in the grand scheme of things. Um, I mean, I guess technically 19 and 18, or uh, 19 and Jero slash 20 were as well, but, you know. It was like his main gimmick was energy absorption. 
So, <clears throat> but anyway, it just it's a thing that you would think they would do more often in the series, and I'm glad that a major villain has it. You know, it, it really goes to show the the grit of the characters when their energy, which is something they rely so heavily on, is actually just being taken away from them and used against them. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Um, let me know your thoughts on the chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Um, follow all my other content, see what you like, suggest things, f or not follow my content, but um, check out my content, see what you like, suggest things. Um, follow my social media so you're always in the loop. Um, I, I stream on Twitch to do gaming, so and I'll tweet that out when it goes live. Um, I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, hey, Vegeta, when you getting here, bud?